Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There are two important updates regarding which we are going to discuss today. First one is from DRDO's laboratory Jodhpur which has developed a radar absorbing paint. Now these paints are capable of absorbing the RF signal emitted from the radar which helps the fighter jet or missile to reduce their radar signature. Though it might sound a simple technology, but it is not. It is a niche technology available with only handful of countries and no one is ready to share this. These paints have been applied to the Indian fighter aircrafts and other platforms. The paint has been used on Indian Air Force platforms including MiG-29 fighter jets and had encouraging results. In the image shared by ANI, we could see the paint applied on Gaurav LRGB. We could also see a rubber gasket developed for Brahmos missile, which is intended to absorb the microwave signals. If we further zoom into the image, we could see the effect of applying radar absorbing paint on missile and it is almost invisible. This shows how capable and crucial this small technology is. This development is very significant as it has potential to be applied to all the fighter jets and the upcoming missiles and other aircrafts. Our next update is related to LCO Mark II. Speaking to ANI, the DIDO chief Dr. Kamath has said that the engines for LCO Mark II and the first two squadrons of the indigenous advanced medium combat aircraft AMCA would be produced within the country together with American GE and HL as all the clearances have been received from the US. As per the ADA chief Girish Devdhare, the LCA Mark II fighter aircraft development project has been cleared by government. This will pave the way for designers to develop an advanced 17.5 ton single engine aircraft. The first prototype of LCA Mark II is likely to be rolled out in a year timeline and the project is scheduled to be completed by the year 2027 after extensive flying trials and other related work. It was also reported that AMC aircraft development proposal is also with government and is expected to be approved in near future but with lot of indigenization inputs from the government. The DRDO chief has also added that DRD is looking beyond GF414 engines for developing the engine capability with 6th generation technologies which will be a high thrust to weight ratio class engine. The 110 kN is just a ballpark figure and DRD is looking to develop technologies which will allow to develop 6th generation engine and for that DRD wants to work in collaboration with foreign OEM to reduce the risks in this development. It is not that DRDO cannot develop this engine by their own, but the risk will be higher and DRDO may not be able to meet the timeline of 10 years projected for development of this engine. DRDO has been in discussion with Safran of France, Rolls-Royce of UK and G of US and will choose the partner among the three. The DRDO chief hopes that within next six months, DRDO will be able to take a decision on this. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.